when we talk about that word microdosing, right? Yeah. I know it's a very basic question. What it, what does that mean to you exactly? Well, what it means is a dose of of a consciousness altering substance that does not go up to the level of visual distortion does not have what we would call um, hallucinogenic effects that does not interfere with functioning that does not interfere with cognitive focusing that does not interfere with physical flexibility uh, that does not interfere with kind of emotional connectedness so we're having a substance that seems to make your system work better but not to the point where it's overloaded Mm. Um, we all know or most of us know that if you have one drink you are somewhat more social you're somewhat more verbal you're somewhat uh more available in a social sense and if you continue to do that have more and more drinks you eventually lose all that so that a low dose of alcohol is not the same as it's not a it's not a tiny high dose mm. And uh, microdosing is not a small, small psychedelic experience. A lot of people who are interested are thinking, "Wow, I've had these massive experiences, but they're they're really massive and difficult." I'd like to just have like a quickie, and that's not what a microdose is. A microdose simply seems to be a way of improving the overall functioning of the system, so that what is out of equilibrium can get back to or closer than equilibrium and that turns out for many people to be amazing um, amazing help 